The new St. Croix crossing is an extra dose to bridge design. That means it's a cross between a box girder bridge and a cable stayed bridge. The stay cables are located above the bridge's driving surface. Stay cables help support the load or weight on the bridge. They are necessary on this bridge to have 600 foot spans between each of the river piers. Stay cables anchor to the pier tower on one end and a stay segment on the opposite end. That means before the first cable can be installed, the pier towers must go up. Inside of the pier towers, there's a steel anchor box. And the function of the anchor box is to be able to anchor each of the stay cable strands as they are installed. Construction of the towers at each pier location begins where construction crews left off in building the pier columns and crossbeam. The towers are an extension of the pier columns, 67 feet above the bridge deck. And similar to constructing the columns, crews build the towers in sections. They place rebar by hand, set up forms around the rebar cage, then pour concrete on site. The concrete is transported by truck from the concrete plant to the shoreline, transferred from one truck to another, then transported by barge to the pour site. Once the concrete is cured or dried, crews remove and slide the forms up to construct the next sections. Each pier tower is constructed in four sections. The second, third, and top sections include anchor boxes. The anchor boxes go in at the same time that the iron workers are placing rebar. They are easy to spot during construction because there are two large holes that pass through each box. This is where crews install one end of a stay cable. Crews install the first set of stay cables after they've placed the ninth eastbound and westbound segments in the bridge deck construction sequence. The subsequent stay cable sets attached to every other segment in the row through the 23rd segment. Notice that the segments from which we anchor the stay cables to look a little different than our traditional river bridge segments. These special bridge deck segments are called stay segments. In total, eight stay cables will stick out from each side of the pier towers. The St. Croix Crossing will have more than five miles of stay cables, which is approximately 400 miles of cable strands. An individual stay cable consists of 76 plastic-coated steel strands bunched together inside a protective pipe. The upper part of the pipe is a high-density polyethylene, and the lower part is stainless steel to keep it from corroding over time. Starting from segment number nine from each pier, and then every other segment, so every odd segment from nine through 23 has a stay cable. There are eight stay cables coming out from each tower or pylon, and they're coming out to those various segments. Here's how the stay cables go up. First, crews install the damper casing and transitional boot. A damper helps minimize vibration caused by the wind, rain, and ice. The stay pipes are assembled on the bridge deck, then raised into position using a crane. The pipes are empty when they go up. Individual strands are cut to their precise length from a large coil. Then, crews remove the protective sheathing from both ends of the strand. Crews push each cable strand up the stay pipe into the anchor box in the pier tower. Next, crews install the other end of the strand into the bottom anchor plate. A wedge is placed on each strand to keep it from slipping during the stressing or tensioning process. Crews pull tight each strand using a hydraulic jack, similar to stretching a rubber band. The jack applies 33,000 pounds of force. Each cable has a total stressing force of 2.5 million pounds. Lastly, the cables and anchorages are sealed to prevent corrosion. The new St. Croix Crossing has both visible and hidden marvels. Its cable stay design is just one of them. Construction has gone very well uh, this year. Uh, segment erection has gone at a very fast pace. The, the biggest week we've had so far is 51 segments on the river spans uh, brought up from the barges into place. A typical week would be around 30 segments erected each week. So it's coming very fast. Uh, the stay cable installation process has been going very well. But what can drivers expect from the new bridge once it opens to traffic? What will it look like at nighttime? How are DOTs designing bridges today to make them safe for the traveling public? That's up next. <laughs>